Hello, and welcome to another Hexton tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Bulk Product Edit app, also known as BPE for short. But specifically, we're going to be jumping into the Variant and Options function. This can be found on the left side navigation bar, or on the home page right here. Let's jump in. First, let's see what edit we want to make. So I'll go to my product page. Here we can see I have a product called iPhone case, and it's got multiple different versions the iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and iPhone X. But let's say we want to add another variant, maybe another variant based off of the iPhone X, which is $23.99. And maybe a new iPhone came out, such as the iPhone 12, and we want to add that to our collection. So let's see how we can do that in the app. For our filter, we only want to target the phone cases collection. But let's preview the matched products in this collection. As you can see, we have one product in this collection, the iPhone case, and we have three different variants, iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and iPhone X. But let's add the iPhone 12. Down in our step three option, let's choose add a variant option value, because we have option value iPhone 7, iPhone 8, and iPhone X. Let's add iPhone 12. So in this option, add new variant option value, let's choose iPhone 12. And it says based on existing variant option value. And we want to base this off of the iPhone X. So let's start the edit. Task is queued. Let's wait for it to finish. Great, we edited one product and one variant. So the filter, we chose iPhone cases. We essentially added the iPhone 12 variant for all products that already have an iPhone X variant. So let's check out the details. So as you can see, this is the new data for iPhone 12. Let's check it out on our shop. Refresh the page. And now we can see the iPhone 12 is an option. If you want to modify the new iPhone 12 price, please see our price editing tutorial in BPE. Also, as you can see, our new variant is sold out. New variants are added with zero inventory. Please see our BPE inventory editing video for more information. Well, thank you very much for watching and please let us know if you have any questions.